In this question, we're provided with two correct Bohr diagrams for neon and argon, as shown here. And our goal is going to be to figure out in which of these atoms do the valence electrons experience a greater Coulombic force of attraction towards the nucleus. So to do that, we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at the number of energy levels and the effect of nuclear charge. So let's start by looking at neon. The number of energy levels here is shown by the number of circles ringing around the nucleus. We can see we've got two energy levels. If we look at argon, the number of energy levels is one, two, three. We've got three energy levels for argon. So argon has more energy levels than neon. Next, we'll look at the effective nuclear charge. So to figure out the effective nuclear charge, we've got two options. One option is to use the equation. If we pop to our reference sheet here, there's the equation shown here. Effective nuclear charge is the number of protons minus the number of core electrons. However, there's also a shortcut, which is to use either the number of valence electrons or to use the uh, group number of the element to figure out the effective nuclear charge. So in this case, argon is in group 18. It's got eight valence electrons. And so the effective nuclear charge will be eight for argon. The same for neon. Neon's also in group 18. It has eight valence electrons. So the effective nuclear charge is going to be eight for that. Okay, so we can see that our two atoms have the same effective nuclear charge, but different numbers of energy levels. Now we're going to relate this together in Coulomb's law. So just to remind you of Coulomb's law, we've got it on our equation sheet here. Coulomb's law is that the force is proportional to the charge of one object multiplied by the charge of the other object divided by R squared. So let's just write that down. The force is proportional to the charge of one object multiplied by the charge of the other object divided by R squared. Now remember, when we're thinking about Coulomb's law for our valence electrons, one of the objects is going to be one of our valence electrons. We can choose, choose one, it doesn't matter which. And then the other object we're talking about is our nucleus. However, we also have all those core electrons that we've discussed these ones in here, or all the core electrons here for argon. And those core electrons are repelling our outer electron. So instead of thinking about just the charge of the nucleus, the number of protons, we're going to think about the effective charge of the nucleus. So both of them have the same effective nuclear charge. So when we're comparing the, uh, the Qs, the charges in our equation, both of our atoms are going to have the same values for Q1 and Q2 because instead of just using the charge of the nucleus, we're using the effective nuclear charge. And they've got the same effective nuclear charge. And the charge of the second object is just the charge of an electron, which is the same all the time. So the effective nuclear charge is equal in both of these situations. Next, we'll look at the distance, which is R in our equation. Now, we can see that argon has more energy levels than neon. It's got three compared with two. And each time we have an energy level, the electrons in that energy level are further away from the nucleus. So argon is going to have a greater distance between the valence electrons and the nucleus. So our final question is, what does this mean for the Coulombic force of attraction that the valence electrons experience towards the nucleus? So looking in our Coulomb's law equation, the Qs, those are our charges, we decided that's the same in both of our atoms since we're looking at the effective nuclear charge, which is the same for both. The R, however, that's the distance. The R is greater for argon. And since R is on the bottom of our fraction in our equation, increasing the R, increasing the distance between the nucleus and the valence electrons is going to overall decrease this fraction, which means a greater distance results in a smaller force. So argon had a greater distance between the nucleus and the outer electrons. Therefore, neon is going to experience the greatest Coulombic force of attraction. So one thing to take away from this is that there are two things that can make our Coulombic force of attraction greater. One is if we have a greater effective nuclear charge. 
The other is if we have a smaller number of LNG levels so that our valence electrons are closer to our nucleus.